Have you ever wondered how the Mediterranean and the North Sea, two seemingly distant and distinct bodies of water, could be entwined in history? Imagine a tapestry woven with threads of human migration, trade, culture, and conquest. The Mediterranean, cradling the ancient civilizations of Greece, Rome, and Egypt, has long been a crossroads of cultures. Meanwhile, the North Sea, bordering the rugged coasts of Scandinavia and the British Isles, played a pivotal role in the Viking Age and the shaping of modern Europe. Yet these two seas, one warm and sun-drenched, the other cold and stormy, are not as separate as they may appear. Their stories are interwoven in ways that continue to influence the world we live in. From the early human migrations to the relentless march of empires, these waters have seen it all, each wave a testament to our shared history. Intrigued? Let's dive deeper into the ancient ties that bind these two seas together. Our journey begins thousands of years ago with the earliest humans who wandered across Europe. These early nomads were the first to make the arduous trek from the sun-drenched shores of the Mediterranean, heading northwards towards the cooler and more challenging environment of the North Sea. This wasn't a single mass migration but rather a series of smaller, incremental movements spread out over thousands of years. The reasons behind these movements are as diverse as the individuals who undertook them. Some were driven by a desire to explore new lands, others were pushed by changing climates or the search for abundant food sources. Now you might wonder, what evidence do we have of these early migrations? Archaeology provides the answers. Excavations across Europe have unearthed a wealth of artifacts, from tools to pottery to art, that tell a story of a people on the move. In the southern regions close to the Mediterranean we find remnants of early human settlements. These hints of domestic life suggest that these were the places where our ancestors first made their homes. But as we move further north the artifacts change. We start to see more signs of nomadic life, tools for hunting for example and less evidence of permanent settlements. This shift in lifestyle suggests a change in environment, a change that our ancestors would have had to adapt to as they move further from the warmth of the Mediterranean and closer to the colder, harsher conditions of the North Sea. But despite these challenges, our early ancestors persisted. They ventured into unknown territories, facing the unknown with a spirit of resilience and adaptability. And in doing so, they laid the foundations for the societies and cultures that would later flourish across Europe. So, the first connection lies in the footsteps of our ancestors who journeyed from the warm Mediterranean to the colder North Sea. Their migration driven by a mix of necessity and curiosity is a testament to the human spirit's unending quest for discovery and survival. Fast forward to the ancient civilizations where the Mediterranean and the North Sea were bustling hubs of trade and cultural exchange. This was the era where human ingenuity began to fully blossom, and where the seeds of our modern world were first sown. In the heart of this period was the mighty Roman Empire, a vast dominion that stretched from the sun-drenched shores of the Mediterranean to the misty coasts of the North Sea. The Romans were pioneers and visionaries, establishing a complex network of trade routes that linked these two seas and the civilizations that lived along their shores. Imagine a Roman merchant ship setting sail from the busy port of Ostia, laden with goods like wine, olive oil, and pottery. Its destination? The distant lands of the North Sea, where the Romans had established colonies and trading posts. These goods would journey across the empire, passing through bustling cities, quiet rural towns, and remote frontier outposts. But trade was not just about goods. It was about the exchange of ideas, the sharing of cultures. As these goods moved along the Roman trade routes, they brought with them the essence of Mediterranean culture. Ideas about art, philosophy, governance, and religion traveled with them, subtly influencing the cultures of the North Sea region. In return, the North Sea cultures offered their own contributions. They traded amber, furs, and slaves, but they also shared their unique traditions and ways of life. The Romans, for their part, were receptive to these influences. They adopted new technologies, adapted to different climates, and learned to appreciate new forms of art and music. This constant exchange of goods and ideas led to a fascinating fusion of cultures, a blending of Mediterranean and North Sea influences that left a lasting imprint on the civilizations of these regions. It was a testament to the power of trade and cultural exchange, a demonstration of how interconnected our world has always been. Thus, these seas became intertwined through the exchange of goods and culture in the ancient world. It was a process that shaped the course of human history, a process that continues to this very day.
Our next stop is the Viking Age and the medieval period where seafaring Scandinavians ventured into the Mediterranean. As we journey through time we find ourselves in the midst of a fascinating era, the Viking Age. Born in the rugged landscapes of Scandinavia, the Vikings were not just fierce warriors but also skilled seafarers and shrewd traders. Their sleek sturdy longships designed to navigate both open seas and shallow rivers carried them far beyond their northern homelands. Venturing south, the Vikings set their sights on the wealth and wonders of the Mediterranean world. The allure of the Mediterranean's rich trade networks and diverse cultures proved irresistible. Vikings from the North Sea region began to explore, trade with, and even settle in various parts of the Mediterranean. These interactions were not one-sided. The Vikings brought with them their own goods, beliefs and practices, which left a lasting imprint on the regions they touched. From the sun-soaked coasts of Spain to the bustling markets of Constantinople, the Viking influence can be traced in the archaeological remnants, historical records, and even the DNA of certain Mediterranean populations. But the Viking voyages did more than just transport goods and ideas. They also helped to weave a web of connections between the Mediterranean and the North Sea. These connections, forged in the fires of exploration and trade, would continue to shape the trajectories of these two regions, even as the Viking Age gave way to the medieval period. As we move into the medieval period, we see these connections continue to evolve and deepen. The Mediterranean and the North Sea remained intertwined through trade, politics and cultural exchange, their destinies forever linked by the seafaring Scandinavians who dared to bridge these two worlds. The Viking voyages then, were not just about conquest or plunder, they were also about connection, about drawing together distant lands and diverse peoples about creating a tapestry of human experience that stretched from the icy fjords of the north to the warm shores of the Mediterranean. The Viking voyages further cemented the connection between the Mediterranean and the North Sea. In more recent times the ties between the Mediterranean and the North Sea have taken on new forms. Where once we saw the interaction of ancient civilizations we now see a world growing ever closer through shared concerns and mutual interests. Let's consider the shared environmental concerns. Both these seas are grappling with the impacts of climate change, and it's these shared challenges that are fostering a sense of unity. From increasing sea levels to the loss of marine biodiversity, the nations bordering these waters are joining forces to combat these issues, showcasing a shared commitment to environmental preservation. In the realm of maritime trade, these two seas continue to serve as vital arteries of commerce. They're connected by a network of modern shipping routes, facilitating the exchange of goods and ideas between nations. This intricate web of sea routes has brought about a new era of economic interdependence, binding these regions closer together. Cultural exchanges too have continued to flourish. Through tourism, education and the arts, the Mediterranean and the North Sea regions are constantly exchanging ideas, traditions and values. This ongoing dialogue has fostered a mutual understanding and appreciation that transcends national borders. Today the ties between these two seas continue to evolve, demonstrating their enduring connection. This rich tapestry of shared environmental concerns, trade routes and cultural exchanges is a testament to the fascinating ever-evolving relationship between the Mediterranean and the North Sea. So, from early human migration to modern trade routes, we've seen how the Mediterranean and the North Sea are surprisingly connected. We've traced the footsteps of ancient humans, explored the cultural exchanges of the past, sailed alongside the Vikings, and navigated our way through the intricate web of modern connections. This fascinating journey has shown us that history is often more interconnected than we realize. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more intriguing videos like this one.